Today we will talk about Pine's different reference electrodes. We have two sizes of reference electrodes. The first is our 3.43 millimeter diameter low profile reference electrode. The second one, which is the one we will talk about in this video, is our standard 9.5 millimeter diameter reference electrode. Let's talk about how to use this one in aqueous solutions. First, we'll go over what comes in the box. You get the electrode, the electrode storage bottle, and a bottle that contains filling solution. The structure of the reference electrode is broken up into six parts. The inner sensing element, a 9.5 millimeter glass tube body, a tip with a porous frit, an adjustable Teflon adapter, a fill port with a sliding collar, and finally a 2 millimeter diameter gold coated connection pin. If you're using a double junction electrode, you will have a small internal single junction reference electrode with an inner frit, an outer 9.5 millimeter glass body fritted tube, an adjustable Teflon adapter, a fill port with a sliding collar, and a 2 millimeter diameter gold coated connection pin. The inner fill solution cannot be changed. The outer fill solution, however, can be changed. The appropriate filling solutions for your specific reference electrode are shown here. Unpacking the electrode is simple. First, you'll remove the parafilm. Check to make sure the tip is wetted. If it is, the electrode is ready to use. Let's discuss how to use the electrode. First, remove the storage bottle and rinse the tip. Make sure to dry the tip with a paper towel. Insert the electrode into the test solution. Here we have a test container with a 1420 port. The immersion depth can be adjusted by sliding the Teflon adapter to the desired height. Once you've completed your experiments, make sure to rinse off the electrode before storing it. You should always store it in the storage bottle that came in the package, making sure to keep the tip wetted by soaking it in the filling solution. First, you'll want to check to make sure the storage bottle has enough solution in it. To insert the electrode in the storage bottle, you want to place the cap on the glass tube body followed by the o-ring. Twist the cap closed, then adjust the electrode so that it's touching the sponge. Alternatively, you can store the reference electrode in an external container, such as this one. Here are some tips for changing the filling solution. First, you should invert the glass tube body. Second, drain the solution using a pipette with a plastic tip. You'll place the plastic tip into the fill hole in the plastic cap. Next, you will want to rinse the inside solution by filling the glass body tube with pure water or filling solution. You may have to shake it a few times with the sliding door closed to get it cleaned. After the tube is rinsed several times, make sure that all the solution inside is drained completely. Now you should fill the solution with the fill bottle or a plastic pipette. Typically, you'll want the glass tube body filled up to one centimeter below the black cap. Some troubleshooting things to consider if you're having issues with your reference electrode are as follows. Make sure the frit is opened and not plugged or blocked. If it is, try soaking the frit in pure water. You can also heat it with a warm solution at about 50 degrees Celsius. Another option to get it unblocked is to vacuum it with an aspirator. You should also avoid any chemicals which might plug the pores, such as metal cations that form solid with chloride ions, or any anions that form solid with potassium ions. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Pine at the information provided.